it is time for more Hamster Dad because you love hamsters or you want to know more about them. Might as well watch this random guy in Tennessee who's been a hamster dad for how long now? A month and a half. And I wanted to start this series to basically in real time show how I'm learning to own a hamster. And by making these videos, I've been paying attention to the comments you've been leaving and I've, I've learned a lot. What I want to illustrate in this video is what I've learned since the last time I made a video, probably a month ago. And that is, when I was a brand new hamster owner, you know, I made the mistake of having a cage that you buy at the store. Now I know, 20 gallon aquarium minimum. Now everyone in Europe says 40 gallon, but I've got a 20 gallon. And I've learned that this he's happy in this. He's not trying to escape and all that stuff like before, because I've learned what he ultimately wants, what actually motivates him. By trade, I'm a recruiter slash salesman. So I know that uh, often in order to get someone to buy the product or service, it's not so much about what you think that they want, but what, what did they actually want? What motivates them? Maybe it's something differently, different than you think. And with hamsters, it's actually, I've learned, at least with my Syrian hamster here, what I have learned is that more so than a lot of space and even a whole bunch of mulch, what he actually wants is to basically have the equivalent of a junkyard. He loves it. So what I want to do is give you a tour, a virtual tour of his, because this is the weekend, every weekend I rearrange everything in, in the aquarium, I take some things out, I add new things. So I'll show you how that works, but man, he is happy now because ultimately he, he and he comes out, I, I take him out every day to play with him, but ultimately he's very happy just being really chill, being secluded. And I think now I've finally got in tune with how he's wired and designed. So what I'm gonna do, this is part of my uh, ritual, is that when I clean out his cage every weekend, I give him a new egg carton. We go through a carton of eggs every week. And so then I put uh, the egg carton in. I take the old one out and put the new one in. So for example, Here's his old one, and it's funny because he chews through the bottom of it, and that way he can be closer to the, to the you know shreddings at the bottom, which you know, I don't completely refill the whole thing every week. What I do is I just look to see where he used the bathroom, where there's poop and pee, and I just scoop that out with a rubber glove that I'm holding that I'm wearing, and then the rest, I've been, I've learned that he actually likes the scent and he feels more comfortable when he can have the rest of it. So as long as there's not bathroom uh, territory that I'm leaving in there and I only clean that part out and then once a month do I actually redo the whole thing and that for me was last week when I redid the whole thing so part of the ritual is that when I swap out his egg cartons which I just put a new one in because basically it's like this it's imagine that this is like an apartment a studio apartment and so he basically has a bed he has a bathroom he has a man cave, he has a gym. I think of it like being the owner of a little pet man is really what it's like. And even the way men think is compartmentalized, whereas women, everything's kind of connected. With men, they like separate things. And so ultimately, because I do have that mindset, I can relate to this guy. But at the same time, he likes feng, he's a feng shui kind of creature, so he likes for me to mix things up. So every week I move his rooms around in his apartment just to kind of keep things interesting and here's the what I was about to get to and I give him his seeds then but I put them around here where he has to basically work for them and find them because you know I just change his water clean that I put his his pellets in there and I have been experimenting with more with fruits like I put a whole apple core in there and within two days it was completely gone he started with a stem when he started eating it so that was interesting to see that but then the next week I go in another one and uh, when I had him out playing, I happened to be holding him over the bathroom sink and he, it was like he had diarrhea. Like it was his pee. Cause you know how when hamsters pee, it's almost like, it, you know, it's almost like their pee is more like their poop. It, it actually has an odor to it. Whereas their poop is just those pellets that you don't really smell. But this actually, I could tell it's more explosive. And I had read that they eat too much fruit. It can do that. So 
I'm laying off a little bit this week on, on the fruit. I think I did put a carrot in there, a little carrot slice. But it's funny to see how he can smell these seeds and these grains, there's corn in there, and it gives him purpose in his life to have to find these things. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to put these in the new egg cart, which I've been, what I've been doing is I keep the egg carton closed and then he smells it and screws around to go find it. But also to give him purpose too this week is I'm gonna be sprinkling these around. So you can watch me do this and then I'm gonna do like an aerial view. Oh, I've already taken the lid off, that's funny. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm opening his brand new carton and I am going to put some seeds in there because this is kind of like his sleeping quarters. He likes to have these in here. But... Yeah. I fill one of those up with seeds like that and then I'll show you in a minute but ultimately he's going to use one of them to poop in and one to eat in and then just kind of sleep in between. I'm also going to put some more, let's see, where else can I hide some? And he's got, a, that's his man cave right there. We'll see that in a second. Well, actually, might as well get the camera in. Since he came out, I'll show you. Here we go. So that's his man cave, which goes to his bedroom. Or I guess, it's like this is his bedroom. This is his gym. This is the man cave. This is his bathroom. Now look, he actually peed, as soon as I put this in, right before I started the video, he crouched down and he peed. I'm experimenting with cotton balls and I'm letting him experiment with them because I've noticed with tissue paper, he likes to shred it up and put it in his bed. So keep in mind, I just put this in here. So by the end of the week, he's going to, I'll show you here. He's gonna chew out the bottom. He's gonna eat the seeds. He's gonna poop in one of the corners but he likes to just completely chew out all the bottom so that it's next to the to the shavings there. So yes, this is back to his bathroom. What I did there with the paper towel roll there, and he actually chewed it off like that, but, and then I connected it to here, so that way it comes to his kitchen, where he's got his water and his pellets, and then I give him some wood chews there. And then this is more just looking like a little closet or garage for him. So, I mean, it really is set up like a, like a man's studio apartment. So again, in review, we I change this out every week. That's his bedroom, and see even now, because sometimes he'll push up the top, and then other times he'll actually chew a hole in this corner right here. Can't see the reflection, but I keep it closed and I make him work for it, but he's already been able to open this one up. So there you go. His bedroom, where I keep food in there, his man cave, his gym, his bathroom with a tunnel to give him some kind of purpose there that I've kind of constructed to his kitchen. And maybe if this is his garage, cause this is the wood that he chews on. We bought this from the store, but I think because it's got a stain, it's stained, he doesn't really care about it. But this raw one, he loves to chew on this one. And then, yeah, whatever purpose you want to call that. Sometimes he just stores stuff in there. So yeah, there we go. I'm, I'm feeling really good about being a hamster owner and this is really working well for him and for me. So ultimately the concept is I have a little man for a pet and this is his apartment, a 20 gallon aquarium. And what I do is I just, because we, we have the recycling anyway that I take out. Well, so on the weekend, I just think, okay, what new boxes? would be good for this week. And I kind of keep a stash here too. Like here's some more rolls, my son's Star Wars box. So this is his studio apartment and all the bedrooms that you can see. And closing this video, I will just take a look at it in action. Yeah, see there he is. He's like, he's really happy about his new food. And then exploring his new but yeah it's like he he gets a new bedroom every week and then like i said just i change this stuff out so that it keeps it interesting for him like i just re because like last week i had the food and water on this side so i switch it up to keep him interested and again i get him out to play every every single day 
maybe I should make a separate video on that. So there you go. I'd love to hear what you have to say, but he's so happy. He's not trying to escape. It's like he's, this is what he really wanted to begin with was a junkyard <laughs> slash studio apartment home. I'd love to hear your comments below.